Welcome back, my friends. St. Patrick's Day, I can't believe this. It's flying by. St. Patrick's Day is next weekend, but why not get the party going a little early right now? You can't celebrate the Irish holiday without some traditional food and drinks. Here with both of those things is one of our good friends from the brand new local at the West End. Give it up for Chef Vincent, everybody. Thank Hello. You. Thank you very much. How are you? The new, the new local at the West End. Now I, yes. I've been in there. We're going to show some video. This used to be Cooper's, right? It used to be Cooper. And now it is. Look at the space, everybody. It is stunningly beautiful. Vincent, walk us through. What are some of so, the some of the changes you guys made? Mainly, mainly what we call the snug, which have booth. It's an Irish way of doing booth, but they they kind of enclosed. And we had, you know, a group of uh, Irish carpenter who came over with everything. So everything get built in Ireland and then get built uh, attached here. And so they came here for three weeks about. And it's a mini version of the local downtown. And even the tile, I was struck. The tile came from Ireland yes, as well, around the, the bar. The tiled painting, they, they, it's pretty amazing. They're like, you know, they, and they build this thing in three weeks. It, it was, I, I'm not kidding. If you're looking for a space, I know a lot of you watching, y'all ask me where, where you should go. Not in the cities. This is a great alternative. Yes. If you work in St. Louis Park, you're right there at the West End. Look at the, okay, you're looking at the, fi that's the fish and fish chips. Fish and right, chips, Vincent? yeah, that's, uh, that's all. What that's makes, it. while we're looking at that, we're going to cook here. What makes, the, for you, what makes a good fish and chip? Is it the quality of the, of the, the, the well, fish and batter? Right of, yeah, right off the bat, the, the quality of the fish. Yeah. I mean, we, uh, so at, at the local, we make sure every six months we review our fish. We make sure that, you know, contact the provider to make sure that we get the best quality. So right off the bat. And then you got to make sure it's pat dry before you dip it into the batter. Because if not, it gets all. Oh, yeah. get you get all, sir. What are we making today? Well, my we friends? do the, the corned beef being for, you know, St. Patrick's. So here we do the corned beef. So what we do at, at the local, we, we roast it every night and every morning. So you get a, a daily fresh roasted corned beef. And we do like... So you roast it there. You roast the corned yeah. beef every night and every morning? And every morning. So it's about a you know, 10 hour, slowly roasted, around 200. Degrees. And then we tamp it to make sure it's right. And corned beef, we have a, the, the, the top, the cover, we use it for the sandwich, the ribbon. And the bottom is what we call the flat. And so that we use the, the corned beef just for the corned beef and dinner for that. So it's, it's pretty involved, you know? What, what is it about the corned beef? What makes it, why is this such a, a del, why is this such a traditional Irish, do you know? I mean, yes, yes, so the story actually, there's no corned beef in Ireland. <laughs> you know, it's like French laundry in France. There's none of yeah. them. So it's basically <laughs> that when they got here, they didn't have enough money to buy ham. And they were living near some uh, Jewish daily uh, neighborhood and, and they found out that the corned beef the, that the Jews would do, it will work for them. Oh. So that's why the, the corned beef is pretty famous. And if you go to Dublin and ask for corned beef, they'd be laughing at you. Yeah, so don't do that. Could. Don't do that. But they do fish and chips still over there. Yeah. Okay. And then you serve it with what? A little bit. So, um, so the corned beef is roast slowly. Then we, we clean it up, slice it nice, and we have some braised cabbage, a little bit of a roasted carrot and potato. And we have what we call a parsley sauce. So we use some of the roasted jus and Later, it was a bit of a, a cream, infused it with some parsley and a bit of garlic, and, and, that, and they go. You look at it. that. Look at this audience. Take a look. That is you know? just beautiful. Now, let's, we're going to welcome Kendall in because usually Shane eats everything for us, or Shannon does. So, Kendall, come on in for your very first tasting. There okay. we go. So, we have a. Uh, the corned beef here. Okay, we'll let her, you eat, Kendall, no, while, while we take a look at the salad. This is a, this is a, a kind of a winter take on a berry and brie salad. So in this case, we use a, a roasted pear. Some, uh, and since we're in Minnesota, we decided to use some um, uh, rice, uh, wild rice, okay. roasted rye rice. And uh, there's uh, pomegranate, you know, it's and the pumpkin seed, the brie, obviously. And the, the dressing is a vanilla dressing. A vanilla dressing. Yes. I don't. This is so pretty. I don't even want to eat it. Like oh, this. I'm gonna eat it. Oh no. We, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eat that first, and then we'll move over to the salad. We're doing it. We're doing it. And, opposite. Then, and then I brought some cheesecake that we top with. Oh, Kendall Irish desserts cream. here. Look at that. There you go. Okay. So, what? Cheesecake. So cheesecake, and we do an Irish cream. We use a fini Irish, uh, Irish cream, and so. We, we do it like a little topping on that, so. That top, okay, audience, I don't know if you can see the little layer. So that is Irish cream, Vincent, right yes, there? Yes, yes. May, oh. I, may I go ahead and yes. bite into that? Okay, now while I'm eating this, and mm -hmm. are you still eating? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is you really, know, really Keep eating, keep eating. Let, let me just add a bit. What, is that, what is That's that? That's the fini Irish cream on top of it. More Irish cream? Yes. Oh. Yeah. See? This looks 
so good. See, and so this we, is so good. We don't eat like this in the Fox Time Morning News. Mm -hmm. We don't eat here. Yeah. Oh God, can I help? Now? Okay, now this final thing this while we're eating, what are we looking at here? Very traditional from uh, Irish pub food is the steak and mushroom pie top with a, a mashed potato that we gratiné on top of it. Yeah. So what's in that? Steak and mushroom. So it's a beef braise with carrot, onion, and a lot of mushroom. Then we, we, we deglaze it a bit with a, a bit of a beer and, and put some uh, stew on it. That is, okay. You want some dessert now? <laughs> I Go ahead. Never this asked. is really, really good. Now, Vincent, tell everyone, now it's business as usual uh, for St. Patty's Day yes. at the local. With a lot of crowd. It's going to be busy. busy. So, so, yeah. So, the, the same as usual. Kirian will have uh, the, the music. We have uh, music all day at Kirian downtown. Uh, the local downtown have, will have also uh, music. But, uh, and we have the leafy, and the leafy is like, uh, you know, St. Paul and, and the Irish tradition is so busy. And, and this year is on Sunday, so we're going to be busy Saturday, we're going to be busy Sunday. Sunday yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and so, I'll be sleeping on Monday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we won't be seeing Vincent until like next 4th of July. Right. That's right. <laughs> so you have several locations to visit. We're going to put all of this on our Facebook page a little bit later. But again, if you're near St. Louis Park, it's right there in the West End. Go check it out. It is Go in there just to look at the visual, the, the architect. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's, and makes you look at all the details in that tile. You'll be really, yeah. do you, have you been to the local? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, we're going to go. I'm taking well, you I'm there for like, happy hour. You won't find anything eating, like you, this. Don't stop eating. Go keep on eating. There we go. There's Kendall. <laughs> by the way, the local West End is now open. It's located in St. Louis Park area, right there by the West End Theater and all that. Uh, for more information, go to the-local.com.